Deadly rampage in Northern California. A gunman shooting into a kindergarten class. Police now identifying the gunman. And they now say his wife was actually his first victim. They have found her body. It was hidden under the floor in their home. And tonight, the school custodian who locked the door seconds before the gunman could get in. ABC senior national correspondent Matt Gutman in Red Bluff, California, again tonight. Quick thinking staff at this tiny school made that life or death decision in mere seconds. Eight to ten seconds had elapsed between the doors being closed for the lockdown and him appearing in the quad. Tonight, we learned that the elementary school's secretary ordered the lockdown, and video shows a custodian distracting the shooter who had rammed his truck into the school. The head custodian, who was shepherding students into the classroom, poked his head around the building, saw the gentleman, and drew his attention. It's my understanding that several shots were fired towards the custodian. This is every educator in America's worst nightmare. When I turned my back, our window was being blasted through. Dozens of rounds fired into the classrooms, but only one child wounded. It was a very, very good result to possibly the worst situation that I can imagine. But this community still reeling as the sheriff today unearthed the first victim murdered in Kevin Neal's killing spree, his wife, raising the death toll to five. He had literally cut a hole in his floor and literally just put her body in the floor and covered it up. And first thing Tuesday morning, Neil began his 25-minute rampage, first killing two neighbors. He then drove through the rural community before crashing into the school. Afterwards, the shooter continued on until he was finally killed by police in a shootout. And for the first time, we hear from the shooter's family. He clearly had no business with firearms. He had full-on paranoia and delusions. Matt Guppin with us live again tonight from California. And Matt, we know the shooter was facing numerous charges before this shooting took place. A lot of people in that community, we just heard from her there, asking how then did he get the guns used in this rampage? That's a primary question here, David. Now, among those charges was assault with a deadly weapon. Under the provisions of those charges, he should have been prohibited from possessing a firearm. Somehow he circumvented that, procuring the components of a weapon and somehow assembling those two semi-automatic rifles that he used in that shooting in his own home. David. Matt Gupman in California again tonight. Thank you, Matt.